What do you think of when you hear the word law? Unfortunately, many tend to think of laws as negative things that restrict our freedom or make us do something we really don't want to do. Hello, Father James Kabicki here, and those thoughts came to me in light of the saint whom we honor today, Raymond of Peñafort, a Dominican priest and archbishop who gathered together all the church's laws in the 13th century and who's known as the father of canon law. Maybe you're thinking that while the world might need laws to protect individuals and society as a whole, the church shouldn't need laws. Well, if we were all saints, we probably wouldn't need laws. But even good people can come into conflict with one another. And so we need laws to keep order. When he approved the new code of canon law in 1983, Pope John Paul II wrote the following. The code of canon law is extremely necessary for the church. Since the church is organized as a social and visible structure, it must also have norms in order that the administration of the sacraments may be adequately organized, in order that the mutual relations of the faithful may be regulated according to justice based upon charity, with the rights of individuals guaranteed and well defined. Thus, canon law, like all good law, serves a good purpose and should be respected. Ultimately, it's an attempt by the church to help us all follow the law from which all laws come, God's law. From the very first sin until today, it's been the denial and breaking of God's law that's led to our sorry state. Psalm 119, the longest of the 150 Psalms, put it well. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the way of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart.